<laughs> Number one, it's attention getter. Number two, it's uh, it's uh, definitely a fan favorite. Number three, it was a lot of work. <laughs> Former car race driver Davey Hamilton has swapped the fast lane to build a one of a kind 1952 Ford backwards pickup truck. I'm Davey Hamilton, and this is my 1952 Ford backwards truck. So uh, a friend of mine uh, up in Maine, he, who is a former racer, I went to his place and he actually had a truck that was somewhat like this, but this I took it another, another step farther. So a lot of the trucks, uh, uh, older trucks have really small back windows, they don't have the wide ones, they're still little, and I'm from Indianapolis. So I looked all around the Indy area, couldn't find a truck with a big back window. And I happened to find this truck like three miles from my father's house. He sent me some pitch, I go, perfect, get it. As far as the body, it's all the original body, the frame's original. But the steering column and the pedals, it's all still original. And then uh, we had to put the lights on, obviously, uh, going the wrong direction. I didn't know what to do for a bed cover, so we figured to keep it rustic looking, we just use this, use this piece of plywood. But then you can see inside, we, uh, it's just a, a 350 Chevy engine with uh, a turbo 350 transmission, yeah. One key thing was a big radiator because it, the air going through the tailgate wasn't that good. So you can see we had to cut a hole for your feet to go inside the bed, so we had to seal all this up, make sure no water and stuff came in, in the, inside the truck. We, we actually took seats out of a Polaris Razor. We just had them, right? But the dash, we built it. My dad actually built and broke his dash out of aluminum, got all the gauges in it. I always get mixed up of which door to get in, but obviously this is the door. The right door is the one you're supposed to get in all the time. So I just took a racing fuel cell put in for a gas tank. Fenders. Brake lights, tail lights, blinkers, it has to have windshield wipers. It passed, it has everything that's required to be having a car. Yeah. All the body mounts had to be turned around and switched. So getting it to where it was, it looked proper and, and like it was a regular truck per se, like it looks pretty good. It looks like it's supposed to go forward and so it took some time and to get everything leveled out and, and make sure that it was mounted properly so it didn't bounce around. This backwards vehicle is also easy to maneuver once you get the hang of it. It's, it, it's easy to drive. It's got, like I said, good brakes and all that that goes with it, but it's still, in the day, it's still a 1952 Ford truck, right? So, uh, uh, but it's fun. It's not too aerodynamic with the cab backwards, I'll tell you that. <laughs> the front end is so long, it's the bed, and you're looking over the bed, so it takes a little bit to learn where you're at. And as you can tell, it's a little tighter, right? The cockpit's not quite as much room as if you're turning around. I've had it up to 85, I really don't want to go any faster. It goes pretty good at that speed. It doesn't handle great. I don't, definitely don't, don't want to put it on a racetrack. Um, it's really a 52 Ford truck. I don't even know how to value that thing, right? I don't have any idea what it's, what it's worth to somebody, but it's unique. I've been offered some money for it, but I wasn't ready to sell. Unsurprisingly, this unique vehicle gets a lot of attention out on the road. You know, the guys at the bar over there. <laughs> People get a kick out of it. That's always fun, right? When somebody, when it makes somebody's day, it's probably cool. People have told me that. I go, you know what? I haven't, I haven't smiled like this for a long time. So that's pretty cool, right? Yeah. So that, that's the kind of reactions you get, right? Yeah. <laughs> People just like this gentleman, and you know, they want to stop you, they want to talk to you, they want to, you know, look at look it over and ask questions. So you definitely don't want to be in a hurry. The town I'm from, everybody talks about it, but it still gets reactions. There's new people that, that see it every time we take it out, and it's uh, it's definitely a, a crowd getter. I haven't been pulled over yet. Kind of been waiting. I actually passed a cop once. He waved, and off he went, like most people. You know where in the rules it says you, which way the body's supposed to go. Yeah, right? shouldn't matter. <laughs>